Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the better C++ SFML game series and in this video we are going to make uh, physics bodies in our game so each physics thing in the game is represented by a body so in this video we'll start off by creating some static bodies uh, of the map tiles because the map tiles are not going to move therefore they are going to be static bodies that are going to be fixed in one place and uh, if I go ahead and uh, go in uh, you know so if I go ahead and run this application right now uh, what you should see is that we do get a bunch of a grid of different tiles uh, on the screen and each of these tiles is going to be a separate scare body and uh, in uh, for each of these bodies that, that would help us do collision with each of them and of course Mario is going to be his own body but that's going to be a dynamic one so you can see these are the tiles and we are going to make these tiles essentially be the bodies so uh, as I said before there are dynamic and static bodies we are going to start off with the static ones so let's go ahead and uh, uh, try go ahead and close this and uh, try to actually implement the uh, you know body so I'm going to just close that and uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to implement the uh, different types of bodies using the box 2d that we set up in the previous video so let's go ahead and uh, actually uh, we are going to do something when this happens so we are going to actually create this here so that we can have multiple statements and of course we are going to set grid x y to 1 but we are also going to create a static body if the color is black so for this what we will do is we will have to create a body definition so before creating a body we need to create a body definition which is uh, represented by b2 body def now of course we can ask visual studio to just include the correct header automatically so that it can actually do that and uh, let's uh, create one of these and call it body and let body def and call uh, basically do it that uh, you know initialize it uh, by default and you can see it's not being able to detect what is present that reason is that uh, you can see it's saying that it's an incomplete type and that's because visual studio did not load the, the stuff correctly uh, it did not uh, put the correct header so we are going to use b2 underscore body dot h here instead of that one and this actually contains the whole definition of this so we can say body def dot position and we are going to set the body's position to uh, well we are going to uh, basically copy this formula when for when we want to calculate the position and let's just go ahead and paste that and of course this requires an individual x and y not these so let's just do that and uh, now that should allow us to set the body's position to that uh, by calling body def dot position dot set and now we actually need to create a body but in order to create a body we actually need a world so we need to create a body from a world there's a function in world called world dot create and you can see that in body depth we have got a bunch of other properties and we can change these of course as well like angle of the body and uh, like damping and stuff there are a bunch of different uh, properties that we might come across later for now uh, we can go ahead and create a bunch of st static methods uh, that are going to be wrapper methods for the world but uh, I think a bunch easier approach is to just make the world public instead of private so that we can access it directly so let's do that and uh, yeah now the world is public so let's go here and say uh, let's say uh, b2 body pointer and uh, the create body function returns the pointer so we have to do that and we are going to say world uh, physics colon colon world dot uh, create body and when we are creating a body we need to pass it our body def so uh, you can see that and of course we need to make sure we include physics dot h and uh, actually not physics dot cpp physics dot h uh, because uh, physics.cpp won't work of course we don't include source files so let's go here and uh, you can see it expects a pointer so let's just return the address of that instead and that is going to allow us to create our body alright now for actually creating a shape that's going to represent how the body looks we can include b2 underscore shape dot h but uh, you can just say shape dot h but uh, there are a bunch of different types of shapes quite obviously and we can use those but uh, we are going to use uh, we are going to include polygon shape here so that we can uh, like create boxes because box is a polygon so we are going to create a b2 polygon shape and uh, let's just uh, create that yeah and let's call it shape and initialize it using the shortcut initializer syntax and uh, let's do that and now we can actually set this shape as a box so we can say shape dot set as box and this requires the half size of the box and this is an overloaded function by the way you can provide it angle and center but we are going to not do that since we want this to cover the whole thing so we are actually going to provide it with the half size of the box so say cell size by 2 and uh, the height is going to be the same so let's say cell size by 2 and uh, with that done we can go ahead and say 
uh, yeah that's going to pretty much take care of the problem for us and now let's go ahead and create a fixture so a free fixture will uh, fix a shape to the body like its name suggests and there are two types of uh, you can uh, either provide it with a fixture definition if you want to actually set some parameters like friction and stuff and uh, we don't want that because this is a static body so we are just going to say uh, provide it with a shape but address of shape by the way uh, at shape actually not whatever I have written and uh, let's do that and uh, for the density let's just say zero since this is a static body so let's go ahead and say zero for the density and uh, that uh, that should actually create the body correctly and it should of course since we are using a world to create a body now the world will actually know that there is a body that it uh, needs to deal with so with that we have got this done Alright, so there is however a problem with the way we are currently doing things. You can see that this cell size that we have in the game.cv we set it to 16. Now the official documentation for Box2D states that Box2D uses meters and uh, it generally works best uh, for objects from uh, with size 0 0.1 to 10. And uh, uh, our objects are of course much larger than that and that actually causes a few problems. We are using different kind of, uh, uh, you know, we are having math at 16, this is just some arbitrary uh, you know scale so that's not what we are going to do I'm going to go under Mario by the way and remove the movement code uh, actually not the speed let's just keep remain that but this movement code we are going to remove it because now we'll have to implement it physically uh, anyways uh, you can see Mario is 16 by uh, 32 while the map is 16 by 16 now that's large and uh, if, we if we want to translate this to meters uh, I'm going to set the movement speed to 3 first of all and then for the map and the camera zoom we are going to decrease all of these so that I it looks it will look the same but we'll have much smaller units so first we need to decide uh, on some kind of reference for this so let's just say Mario now let's say Mario is uh, for example two meters tall you know of course you can set this to whatever value you see fit but uh, let's just uh, for example assume that Mario is two meters tall so let's just uh, go under uh, Mario here and uh, let's open up the implementation uh, and let's go ahead and uh, change this in this draw method we are going to change this to 2 uh, because Mario is 2 meters well uh, no actually we are going to change this to 1 since uh, uh, this is going to be uh, 2 on the Y so yeah that is going to make Mario that size and if I go here you can see that we are essentially dividing it by 16 so we are dividing the uh, original scale that we had uh, you know in the previous video by 16 so we will just make map 1 divided by 16 and divide the camera by 16 as well and make it 20 and that uh, making it 20 would essentially allow us to uh, have a uh, basically it will look the same but now our actual uh, you know measurings will be represented in meters and meters per seconds and that would allow us to integrate with the physics much um, better and without any other hassles or stuff and it will also allow us to kind of model our worlds more realistically we cannot move Mario of course now we remove that functionality and you can see nothing actually changes because these are just static bodies and uh, these are being created though and uh, the thing is that uh, now it looks the same but we are working with meters so in the next video we'll implement the dynamic body for Mario by creating a body class so we'll do the, that in the next video make sure to stay tuned for that I'll see you in a future one and make sure to like and subscribe as well and uh, share this video with other people and bye